the music in this place? Something is angry at me. Apparently that thing. The behemoth that's a billion miles away. Oh, that's the mark. It's not gonna let me ambush it, is it? Maybe it is. Took ages to get to it, apparently, but apparently it's gonna let me ambush it, so up the butt. Ow, oh, that hurt. Quick, someone hit it. There we go. So this thing hurts a lot, and it hits everyone for a lot, so I'm hoping we can just juggle it. But no, that's not looking pretty likely. We may have to summon for this fight. So once that stagger gauges out, it ain't gonna be pretty. Let's get medic up. Cause someone's almost dead. And I forgot I don't have the increased potions ability. Whatever it is. Increased potions item. Potion food. It just poisoned everyone. That's not good at all. Let's see about getting everyone buffed up, because this dude hurts really badly. I would do double synergist if I was confident enough in our ability to not die. Which I'm not, but you know. That would give us protect if we could get hope to synergize everyone. Maybe I will try to do that. And then she could try to slow him. A billion times a second, apparently. Thanks. Back to not dying, please. Thank you. Look at all of the buffs and debuffs and things everywhere. This is secretly Monster Hunter 4. Someone heal Saz, please. Thank you. Changing gear. Does so much damage, it's ridiculous. What do we know about it? It's immune to lightning! It has 282,000 hit points. Saws periodically says whoa, 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 sometimes, I'm not sure why, but you know, it's Saws, so whatever. Saws is cool like that. Launch it, please. Thank you. I think this thing's dead after this here. It wasn't too bad. We had to sit there and buff for ages, but it wasn't too bad. 1300? We did double the target time like a boss. Target time of a minute for that fight. Lol no. A platinum bangle! We are now a Mercifex. I don't know what that means. I presume it's good or has some sort of benefit, I don't know. What is HP plus 400? Well, really, I should give it to Saz just because, you know, he's the main party member. And if he dies, the whole party dies, so he should probably have the most hit points. That guy's dead. There's another one over here, though. You there! Where do you lead me? Do you lead me to great glory and justice and stuff? Oh. 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 Well. The game solved my gripe about like five minutes ago, so there you go. Well done, game. Yeah. The one-eyed Androa that plagues the, plagues the Ascendant Scarp. The Ascendant Scarp. Really? Alright. Hmm. To the Ascendant Scarp! Which appears to be right next to me. Yes, it is right next to me. It's a tarp. I pray it is not a tarp. I should use up my point foods first before I go down there. Let's 
see. You're a Ravager. Please continue being a Ravager. And apparently spend a billion experience getting a strength increase on the Ravager tree. The tree that doesn't use strength. Game. Why do you do that? Like this. This is like 10,000 experience for 30 strength. On a class that doesn't use strength. I know it applies to every class, but that's just stupid. That's stupid, yo. If I'm specializing Ravager, why do I want to spend points on strength? It's silly. What's up here, Runga? Anyway... I don't have complained about that. Let us head down yonder, shall we? Actually, let us... Check his equipment, because I think he has... yeah. Do we have anything better than a gold bangle? No. I could change this to give him more health, so he stops dying so much. We could give him auto faith, actually. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. I love Chocofro's run, it's glorious. Oh, this is another area. Uh... Where... hold on, where's my mark at? I don't see my mark! What did you do with my mark? Unless something right here is my mark and it's just not marked for some reason. No? Those are slimes. There's an item! I will have that item. Didn't I have auto faith earlier? No, I think maybe actually. Also, there's some weird plant things in this fight apparently. The problem with Saws is it takes him so long to do stuff like Flame Strike. Because he lost like half of his health instantly. Because of the way his flame strike and his his basically his attacks work, it takes forever to do them. It's a little bit awkward, but you know, whatever. What can you do? Except have hope heal faster. Triffids. These are like flowery versions. Does everything in the game debuff now? Everything we fight does some sort of debuff. What is this nonsense? I don't have time for this nonsense game. Luckily they don't do a whole lot of damage. Even with, you know, the debuffs, they don't seem to do a lot. Apparently Ian doesn't debuff. I don't really think that helps me anyway, because I'm not trying to murder Ian at the moment, for the time being. Five stars! Good time. Not sure why that fight went so much faster than some other fights, but... What is this? Okay, oil, I guess. It said the mark was down here, right? But I don't see the, the X for the mark anymore. Is there a way to check that? Like to check what my mark is? I don't know, apparently not. This will just continue this way and make majestic leaps that should be physically impossible for a man of this age. But whatever. Also, I don't like when the camera does this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's that. I don't like when the camera does these sweeping angles because it makes the controls weird. Suddenly, enemy flew by. Don't tell me those are like the ones in the freaking calm lands, because if I have to fight through those... I, that ain't happening if I do. Do I need to save again? Not really. Hmm. There's another one of those uh, seeth down there. People keep comparing this to, like, Disgaea and telling me to save constantly, except the thing with Disgaea is, if you die, you start from the save. 
You don't do that in this game, so it becomes far less actually important. I don't actually lose any progress if I die. There's a giant tomato flan. So, I have to fight that one to get the item. Hmm. Well, let's head over here. Eventually he might fly over here. There he comes. Hopefully they don't have 300 bajillion health. How much do you have? Don't know, because I haven't hit you yet. It's kind of a requirement for no one. Doesn't do as much damage. Still don't know its health. Doesn't seem to do as much damage. 226 has slightly less health. Not by much. Change in the play. I think we need to actually synergist to this fight. Really? I can't cast magic anymore. Is it going to do that to everyone? Because if it is, that's going to be a massive pain. Moderately irritating. Here we go. Luckily it doesn't last very long. I think he's going to eat someone. He is eating someone. Stop that. Time to buff everyone with a billion buffs. Because I like buffing. Saws just has so many buffs he can give people, it's ridiculous. He can give like 15 buffs to people. And he'll just keep going. Look at him, he's still going. Buff everyone, 24-7. 24-7 buff, go. Look at that list down there, man. <laughs> yeah, we have so many buffs they start to go away before we can even start using them. This dude still does a billion damage, even with Protect on. Maybe he's just piercing Protect, I don't know. All I know is this fight takes for freaking ever. I agree, Saz. I agree with your Wadalala. Maybe that's like to psych himself up. Get him ready for the fight. Look at that damage once we get this guy staggered. Holy crap. Takes forever to stagger. He's incapable of inflicting curse. I know. He's weak to Blizzard. And he's gonna eat Fang. He almost killed Fang. Good heavens. Whoa. 920 experience for one of those. That does not seem worth the effort. And it was a rune bracelet. That did not seem worth the effort. So if physically possible, I'm going to go around this one. Well, that was incredibly easy to get around. My hunt's not down here, is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, you just couldn't see it because the map wouldn't scroll that far up. Okay. So there's a giant tomato flan. It's cool, I guess. How's it going, giant tomato flan? Having a good day? They appear to actually have modeled, like, his fro moving when he scratches his head. I was actually moving in the wind, okay. I thought they modeled it for when he was scratching his head. Anyway, back to paying attention to trying to ambush this thing. I don't think I got away with it. Oh, I did. Let's get rid of the Arunes first before the hybrid flora. Because we can AoE them and get them down. Like so. And then the rest of the fight is just our hybrid flora, which nothing looks nothing like a flora or a hybrid, but whatever. Someone just did 7k to it, I think. 13,000 damage someone just did. I think has a lot of health. 13,000 damage in one hit. 12k. 
It's hope, I think. Yeah, it's, it's when hope casts fire, it just decks the thing. It's ridiculous. Admittedly, it was 800% stagger. Water gun. Time to pull the old switcheroo. That hurt. A lot. Killed hope. Come on, then. Thank you. Come on, hope. Get back up. We need you before it suddenly murders us. Please. You. Thank you. Huh. May as well continue buffing while he heals everyone. It's a giant freaking killer tomato. That's what it is. Except it doesn't say die human in a very weird voice. I think that's what they say in Space Station 13. Is it die human or... What is it? They say something. I can't exactly remember what though. What have we learned about it? Weak to fire? Yeah. Hard to chain. Actually, not terribly hard to chain. Now that I look at that. Run, cowards! That's what they say. Run, cowards! I got five stars on that fight, really. Okay. Esoteric oil. Esoteric oil. I'm going to pronounce that. Camera. There was really no reason to do that suddenly, and then swirl back to the other side. I'm presuming these plants aren't actually plants. I'm suspicious of them. Hmm. I want to. I want to ambush our killer tomato friend here, if physically possible. I told you those plants weren't plants. <laughs> I told you. They didn't believe me. They called me insane. Ooh, I think I may have actually preemptively hit him. I'm actually gonna quake this fight too. I'm gonna get rid of the Triffids, because freaking Triffids. No one likes Triffids, although maybe I should get the other guy in the air so he doesn't murder everyone all the time. But Triffids, you know? They're dangerous. Dangerous Triffids, they are. That thing does so much damage in such a wide area. Well, now we've done that, so time to just auto-chain it for a while. I didn't realize we were going to launch it into the air. And then keep it ten feet off the ground, again. Well, if we don't have to heal this fight, that'd be great, but I think we're going to have to heal. That falling animation for this thing is a bit weird. Yow. There we go. The falling animation on that thing is weird, because it gets to like a normal flan size just squished into the ground. Right. That hurt a lot, but we're alive. It's got to count for some, I suppose. I wonder, yeah. I wonder if you can launch the uh, the tortoise in the air as well. The adamantois, whatever. There's a save point up here, which will prop 1,827 gil. That's a very weird number. No, no. Is there any reason to go up here? Not really. I don't see the point of that alternate path, but okay. What are you? I can accept multiple of these things. Perhaps it is time to pay her a final visit. A visit to. Okay, sure. Oh no, you can't take multiple. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I thought you could take multiple. That would actually be kind of cool. We're still pretty far away from our mark. And there's some very odd creatures standing over yonder. Very odd creatures. I 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this set here, because it's going to actually be in about another 20 minutes before I need to prep to make Din Din's. So, I was going to actually play some stuff after this, but we're going to go ahead and end the recording and the stream simultaneously. Short stream today. Kind of standard length recording today, but, you know. What can you do? What can you do? Anyway... 25 hours into a 60 hour game supposedly. Thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time